I thought we'd talk a little bit about some of the questions that are coming in from young girls, mostly in their teens and 20s, that say that when they touch themselves, they don't feel anything. Their clit anything. or their vagina, they feel numb. I don't feel anything. Well, if you've never had good food and you had a gourmet meal. It's very rich. And then you taste it and you go, that that isn't right. I don't think that's right. They have garlic, saffron, strong flavors like that. And it's all about, you know, even even physical touch. It could be harsh. It could be sweet. It could be kind of mean. And pleasure as a sensation, we were talking about that. As I'm watching Grayson, you know, experience life and sensations, being frustrated for the first time, feeling pleasure for the first time. No one talks to us about how to receive pleasure. Well, I think how we learn to receive pleasure is when we're alone in our beds as small children, touching ourselves, and we go to we go to our genitals. We touch our genitals and we go, oh, that felt good. It's different than touching your your shoulder or your hand or your nose. It feels different. And if someone isn't there with a message that it's negative, and then you feel the guilt and shame after pleasure. Yep. Don't touch yes. yourself there. It's 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 like growing up naturally, touching your genitals. You will automatically understand what feeling good, what sexual good sexual feelings are. It feels good. That's mm -hmm. the beginning of pleasure. Something that feels good. Then of course you know when your mother hugs you. That feels good. It feels Comfort. good. And when, and when a, a grown-up or your friend kisses you, that feels good. So we gradually learn what feels good. And if you if you have none of that, and oh, and then teenagers. Oh, my God, the shame and the slut this, stigma, this. You got a body pimple. image. Your hair isn't working. I'm in. I'm too fat. The objectification of women across the board to sell every yeah. schlock product. Uh -huh. And that every image is photoshopped. And I was telling you this before. The shame of it is, when I look at my 20-year-old self, I'm like, God damn it, I was so hot. But at the time, I was wrapped with like yeah. shame, and I could be better, and my thighs yes. were too fat, and I had a black, you know, a butt like a black girl. I heard that a lot. Thunder thighs. I had curves. Now people kill for curves. They inject themselves with poisonous shit for curves. Well, on the front of my book, I put an image of myself when I was 20 in mm -hmm. high fashion. And at that point, I thought I was awful. I was fat. I know. And you, you know, I feel like every twenty-year-old girl looks amazing because it's the blush of youth. Yes. The energy, the enthusiasm, yep. the vitality. Nothing's been worn out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have limited baggage. There's just something so beautiful about each person. But then, when I touch myself, my vagina or my or my clitoris, I don't feel anything. Well, if you don't feel good about yourself and how you look and you feel guilty about feeling pleasure, I mean... Or you've never even felt it. How about that? You've never touched your genitals and your little boyfriend goes down there and goes, diddle, 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 and you go, I don't feel anything. We, when was the first time that you felt pleasure with vaginal penetration? Not the first time. Not pleasure, but I mean, like, you knew it, like, it felt good. Well... That rub jump, that jump rope handle was. <laughs> it felt good, but I'm talking about like feels good. That was first partner sex for me. Yeah, but you had had hand jobs with Bob. You've had a lot of pregnant Two penetrate years. your own vagina. All of my, all of the hand jobs with myself, and I had my finger inside my vagina. Come on, that's it's if you're playing with your clitoris, it's natural that you're going to dip yeah. your fingers inside. It took me a long time. It took me several years of practice, self-stimulation, and partner sex before I could say that I was like, yeah, <laughs> like rocking the veg. <laughs> yes. And the amazing thing when I look back is that my first full penetration partner sex at 20 was I, I had an orgasm. You had oral sex first. He did oral sex, and I, I didn't even know that existed. It was, when I think back on that, and my, my mother's attitude was when the dogs would, you know, <laughs> sniff you. She said, no, that's dirty. Don't, you know, don't let them smell. And I thought, that, that means I'm dirty, not the dog. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. So when, the, when this guy went down on me, I went, oh, 
It's so dirty. But he's loving every second of it. It's Whoa. all over his face. <laughs> and then slow penetration. He was very experienced. That will always get ya. Wow. Before that, I was playing just put the tip in. So that's a lot of vaginal penetration. It's a lot of practice. Yeah. And yeah. you were saying sex is work. It's something that's learned. It's practice. We always approach sex as it's just going to happen. You're going to touch a part of your body and woo, multiple well, orgasms come your face off. That's the whole approach. Is it's it's natural. It's just it's a natural thing, and you'll naturally know what to do. The desire to have sex is no, probably natural. None of it's natural. It's an art form. If I could just get that, if I could get that one concept across, that sex and pleasure is an art form that must be practiced again and again and again. You and heard her. More, and one more time. And again. Again. <laughs> so, and the best practice that is available to all of us. Masturbation. Okay. If we could have a masturbation nation. Oh, I love that. Masturbation nation. Yes. Let's go. That's the name of this, <laughs> this clip, I think. Masturbation nation. Now, you have a moment. Check it out. Go do it. <laughs>